Your vote 2022 voters will be deciding on two College of the Desert Board of Trustees spots. This is a map of Trustee Area 1. It includes parts of La Quinta and Indio, as well as Coachella, Mecca, Thermal, North Shore, and Oasis. Board Chairman Ruben Perez is making, or excuse me, is seeking another four-year term, and he's being challenged by Larissa Chavez Chaidez, a former student trustee and current Cal State student. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco details the qualifications each candidate brings to the table. Ruben Perez is eager to keep building on his record with the College of the Desert Board of Trustees. I'm very proud of the fact that it, since my four years since I've been on the board, we have increased our transfer and graduation rights to record levels every year, but we want to keep building on that progress. Perez says he wants to see out the expansion of the Indio campus. He also looks forward to construction of the Roadrunner Motors project and a new Palm Springs campus in a way that he says is fiscally responsible. The last thing that we want is to be financially upside down five years from now. We want to be able to be able to afford all of our build up. His opponent, Larissa Chavez Chaidez, is open to continuing to grow the college if elected to the board. I have nothing against building new campuses throughout the whole Coachella Valley, but first we need to have the information supporting that the campus is needed there. She is the only candidate who attended COD full time and at age 24 would be the youngest on the board. Chavez Chaidez views these as advantages compared to the current trustees. Majority of them have not attended a community college in many, many years. So I think that having somebody that recently went to College of the Desert and that knows the barriers that students face would definitely help the um, would help the board move forward. Besides serving as student trustee, she was also vice president of the Associated Students of College of the Desert. She says having the ability to connect with other first generation college students in the East Valley gives her a unique perspective. They have to be at the uh, bus stop at five in the morning to be able to make it to their classes in Palm Desert at eight in the morning, which to me is very devastating because I myself was one of those students. She believes the board needs to focus on boosting enrollment and providing more classes. My opponent he uh, he ran uh, four years ago and he was pretty upset the fact that there was only 14 classes being offered in Mecca Thermal but you know now that he's on the board there's only two classes being offered in the Mecca Thermal campus this is how Perez responded to the criticism enrollment decline is something is a phenomenon that's being experienced throughout the entire country at every level of education I know I understand that there's plenty more work to be done but we're we're doing it and I have the the relationships and um, the experience in order to to do that. In August, Chavez Chaidez received a nearly $9,000 campaign contribution from Joel Kinnaman, who is running for trustee area four. Perez calls the action politically motivated. Joel Kinnaman has proven to have a, a vendetta against me. He says he wasn't expecting the approach he's seen from his opponent. I have a lot of respect for Larissa. We served on the on the board together as her as student trustee, and I thought that she was, a, you know, a, a great, a great addition to the board. Um, I'm really more so just surprised that she was willing to, you know, participate and actively engage in such dirty campaign tactics. Meanwhile, Chavez Chaidez brushed off any concerns about another candidate helping fund her campaign. I am only doing this for the students and because I want a better future for the community. In Thousand Palms, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. You can find in-depth profiles on both COD board races along with other key races to watch this election at KESQ.com.